Hey girl, hey! Welcome back everybody. Today I want to show you guys how to make a Starbucks bath bomb. I have been wanting to do this video for months now, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And I really hope you enjoy. This is also a huge Starbucks collaboration with some of my awesome friends here on YouTube. I am collabing with Chrissy from Glamour Life Fox, Catherine from Catherine Ward Art. This is her art channel, by the way. Also, Breland from Glitter Forever 17, Rosalie from Rosalie Says Rar, and last but not least, Julie from Belize Beauty 03. I'm going to link all of their videos down below, so don't forget to go watch their videos and subscribe and tell them I sent you. And we're just going to go ahead and get straight onto this video. As always, when you are making a bath bomb, you start with the dry ingredients. I am using a fourth cup of cornstarch, one cup of baking soda, and one cup of citric acid. I see everybody say that citric acid is found anywhere. I couldn't find it anywhere no matter where I went, so I had to order mine online. Now we're just going to mix all of our dry ingredients together until everything is blended. Okay, it is time to start adding our wet ingredients. I'm using a little bit of water and some pink food dye, although it looks purple for some reason on camera. And I'm mixing that together and I'm also adding some sugar, spice, scented essential oil. You can use whatever scent you want for this. I just decided to do that because it smells so sweet and I thought it would go perfect with this. And we're just going to add it slowly and keep mixing. You don't want it to react so much. You have to keep mixing it and just add really slowly. After a while, I decided to add more pink to this because it was looking way too purple and this actually came out really pink. I don't even know how it went from purple to straight up pink, but I added a lighter color and this is how it came out. After adding and mixing and adding and mixing some more, you should come out with a texture like wet sand and that's when you know it's ready. Now I'm making my mold with a Starbucks cup. You can use any cup you want. And I'm actually cutting this one short because I want my bath bomb to look short and stubby. Okay, now I have my mold. Now it's just time to add it in. I'm going to be pressing it in with my fingers and really press it in there because this is not a real mold. And what happens is when this is drying, it kind of fluffs up from the top because it's not completely closed. So you just really want to make sure that you really press it in there. Go in with something flat and really just press it into your cup. Once you've done that, the bottom part of your Starbucks cup is pretty much ready. Just let it dry for about five hours I would say pop it out of the cup and now it's time to do the frosting the frosting is a little bit complicated well it sounds complicated but it's not if you have the ingredients you need four tablespoons of merengue I believe it's merengue powder I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right and we're gonna mix that with five tablespoons of warm water after that you add a four teaspoon of cream of tartar and half of a bag of powdered sugar if I'm talking too fast I'm gonna link all this down below and write down like the measurements and everything because I know this can be a little bit confusing when you're first doing it and we're just gonna mix that together and just keep mixing if it's too dry just add a little bit more water I'm also adding some of that same scent so just keep mixing and you should end up with something really thick and creamy now I'm pretty sure this is some kind of edible frosting but obviously if you're using it as a bath bomb you're not gonna eat it I'm putting baking soda in it so it can fizz and I actually thought this is weird because it has all kinds of baking ingredients in it. But the thing is, this hardens like rock. So that's how it incorporates into the bath bomb. But I'm pretty sure if you try this on like cookies and stuff or a cupcake or anything like that, I'm pretty sure you can probably eat it. Okay, now that it is ready, I am using a baggie and a little um, tip of it. And actually, I didn't have the little screw thing on. I don't even know what it's called. But it's a little screw to connect it to the bag. I didn't have that, so I just taped it on, girl. And then I poured my frosting into it, obviously. And I'm just putting it straight onto my bath bomb. That's all I'm doing. I'm building it. Just kind of build and build and build until you get your fluffy little frosting on top of your Starbucks. Now that is done, we're going to put that to the side. And we're going to start our straw. Our straw is actually soap. So I'm taking one cube of glycerin soap. I melted that and I'm going to add a couple of drops of green food coloring and I'm going to let the soap kind of harden but not all the way, kind of like a dough and then I'm just going to stick it into a Starbucks straw, maybe about two inches and it is way easier this way instead of pouring. And then of course we let it dry completely for a couple of minutes. Once that's done you just cut it out. Cut it out with an exacto knife and then that is it for your little straw. You pop it onto your frosting 
and then you let everything harden together for about I would say four hours once that is dry we are not quite done I'm gonna add a little logo to it I just cut my logo out and I'm just taping it right on I'm using some double-ended tape to tape it onto my Starbucks bath bomb but it didn't really stick that good so I just ended up taping it around the bath bomb And our bath bomb is finally done. It ended up coming out so freaking cute, you guys. I think this would be a perfect gift for Christmas for your friends or anybody. And it is time for the demo. I actually got really sad about this because I tried so hard on this bath bomb to just let it go to waste. But before you throw it in, of course, take the logo off. That's just there for decoration. And if you want to use it as room decor, it would be perfect too. The bath bomb itself fizzes like a bath bomb and the frosting is just really smooth and it's just a great combination it smells amazing thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you enjoyed if you did click that like button don't forget to comment down below and subscribe for future videos also don't forget to go watch my friends videos i'm gonna link them all down below they all made amazing starbucks videos so go watch them and thank you so much for watching like i said i will see you guys in my next video bye